Okay, so again, it's about 10 times greater because the exponent is uh, 10 to the 5th is 10 times greater than 10 to the 4th, and then their coefficients are both 4, so those are the same. So if we divided this number by this number, we would get 10, right? 400,000 divided by 4,000 is 10. Okay, <clears throat> number 10. Estimate 0 0.0378549214921 to the nearest hundredth. Express your answer in scientific notation. So, tenths place is here, hundredths place is here. So, it's currently a three, but this seven bumps it up to a four. So, let's rewrite it here 0 0.04 is rounded to the hundredths place. And then now we need to write that in scientific notation. So uh, the digit is going to be 4. And then remember, scientific notation always has times 10 to some exponent. In this case, uh, 4 hundredths is a small number less than 1, so our exponent is going to be negative. And then we have the decimal point here. We want to get it here so that that number looks like a 4, right? The whole number 4. And that is 1, 2 swoops, so 4 times 10 to the negative second power would be the approximation if we rounded that and then write it in scientific notation. 11 says compare the numbers 6 times 10 to the negative 6th power and 2 times 10 to the negative 8th power. Which number has the greater value? Okay, so they both have negative exponents, which means they're both numbers that are going to be decimals less than one, right? Because negative exponents are small, tiny numbers. So when we're comparing numbers in scientific notation, you don't compare these numbers first. You compare the exponents. So which is bigger? Negative six, bigger in value, right? Or negative eight. So think about your integer rules. Which one of these has a greater value? Negative 6 does because it's closer to the positive. So that means that 6 times 10 to the negative 6 has the greater value. Okay, that is a bigger number. It's a, it's a larger decimal. Which number has the lesser value would be the other one. So 2 times 10 to the negative 8, that would be a smaller decimal. 10 to the negative 8. Sorry, that looks like 19. That is a 0. This is a 0. Okay, and then how many times greater is the bigger number? Remember, to figure that out, you are going to divide the bigger number divided by the smaller number. So let me show you how to do that in Desmos. Okay, so remember it's important to use parentheses, um, whether you're using handheld or... Desmos. So our bigger number is 6 times 10 to the negative 6. So I would do it like this. 6 times 6 times 10 and then caret negative 6 and then parentheses divided by and then parentheses 2 times 10 caret I think it was, was it negative 8? Let me double check that. Uh, yep. Okay, and then it tells you over here that it's 300. It is 300 times um, greater. So then the answer here is 300 times greater. Okay. I'm going to let this video um, run out, so we'll watch the next part with the next.